Would you like to play a game? We call these kindness creatures, but it's a good fun game to play with two other friends, and everyone has at least two other friends. Let's go. All you need is some paper, a pencil, a Sharpie, and some crayons, because we like to make these full now, the color. the first thing you're gonna wanna do is fold your paper into thirds. This is just a nine by 12 piece of art paper, and there's one fold, there's the other. Go ahead and crease it, open it up. Now you'd wanna write on that side, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna turn it over and we're gonna number it. One, two, and three. Draw a little line so you can write your name. And fold it back up and we're ready to play. Okay, since you wrote your name by the number one, you'll be drawing the head of your kindness creature. It does not have to be a human type head. It can be any kind of head. You could do eyeballs. You could do, um, I don't know, snake head. Something really cool. Or it could just be a regular head. It's really up to you. Oh, with that smile, this fella's really cute. Now turn it over and mark the paper where your head stops so that the next person can draw the torso. The torso needs to stop at the top and end at the bottom. Now remember, you want to start it where the marks are placed by the person before you. And you want to end it at the bottom of the page because it's, well, the middle of your creature. Add your details if you have time. I like to time my kiddos with a song. We'll play a song and draw. When the song's over, it's time to pass it on. Don't forget to put your marks at the bottom on the next page. And remember, sign your name and don't look. Whatever you do, don't look because it'll spoil the surprise. Go ahead and fold the bottom one under and pass it to the next person so they can write their name and they can put the feet or the bottom of their kindness creature into the composition. I can't say this enough, try not to look. Make sure the bottom portion of your kindness creature is lined up with the marks made by the previous artist. Add your details if you have time. You should have time. This looks amazing. Are you ready for the big reveal? It's time to take a look. Top, middle, and bottom. Wow, now it's time to add color. But before we do that, let's trace all of our line work with our Sharpie. Let's break out the old crayons and add a variety of color. Try to use more than one color in each section. It really makes it pop. Look at that, we're coloring the background now. Full color is the only way. My kids know that if you don't make it full color, it's just not done. I got a nice happy orange for the top and voila, yay, our kindness creature. I hope you have fun, I know I did.